What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be making my 2020 Supra a little bit wider, and no, we're not talking about wide body kits. I'm actually going to be installing wide angle side view mirrors from Supra Performance. And you know, one of, I think, the Supra's biggest weakness is the blind spot in this car freaking sucks. You know, when you're driving, you're, you're forced to pretty much rely on the blind spot monitoring system to tell you if somebody's in your blind spot because you can't really see physically in the A90 Supra. It's such a small car, you don't really get a good side view, and I think these mirrors hopefully will fix that. When you're actually inside of the car and you're trying to make a left or right turn and you look, it's very difficult in these cars. If you own a Supra, you know. Especially on the track too, if you tend to track your car, imagine not being having to mainly rely on the blind spot monitoring system. I wouldn't really wanna do that. Uh, and so I think it's a great upgrade to do, uh, putting wide angle mirrors on your car. Uh, and luckily enough for us, Sumer Performance, uh, I got a pair from Sumer Performance. And not only are they wide angle side view mirrors, your blind spot monitoring system still functions as long as you buy the correct part number. I think it's gonna be a great, great upgrade. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox and install it today. And then afterwards, I'll tell you guys how I feel about after driving for about a week or so. So let's take out both of these. So the package comes with two side view mirrors and at first you're gonna notice that there's a blue tint on this and uh, it's actually used to reduce glare and the blue actually apparently does not fade whatsoever. You guys look in here, it's actually pretty wide. You can see a lot of what's on my table and all the trash that's all around. But I got the version that has the defroster as well as the blind spot monitoring. So we're gonna go ahead and install one side first and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. Another thing to mention as well, when you are installing, I believe it's the driver's side, there's actually gonna be a, an extra plug that's not gonna be used and that's for the auto dimming feature that's on the A90 Supra. Uh, we actually don't need to use that, so I'll probably putting electrical tape and tucking it away. Uh, there's no need for the auto dimming feature because you already have the blue tint on there that's gonna help reduce glare uh, at night whenever our headlights and stuff are pointing at you. What you should do first, I'm gonna go ahead and point both sides of my mirrors all the way up. And by doing that, it's just gonna be easier to fit your prime tool underneath and pop off the mirror. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tape off the bottom side of the mirror just to prevent any scratches. And popping this off is actually pretty easy. This is the same process you're gonna have to go through if you wanna change off your mirror caps. There you go. Easy and it just pops right off. Next, there's just gonna pop off the clips. You just press and pull. Uh, and then these, you can wiggle those right off. Just wiggle and shake it off. Boom, done. And there's your first mirror. For a side-by-side -side comparison, this is the wide-angle Suma Speed mirror. This is the OEM mirror. Holy crap. You see so much more. That's pretty crazy. Ooh. So these two are for the defroster. I believe this is for the blind spot monitoring. And this wire here is not gonna be used again because this is gonna be the auto dimmer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off with electrical tape uh, just because we're not gonna be using this anymore. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and plug back in the, the defroster. See. Boom. Okay, that should be good. And we're gonna go ahead and connect this back in. And it's only gonna go in one way, which you'll see the tabs plug in like this. <laughs> it's so hard doing it behind the camera. I'm just trying to make sure there's room. If you notice, I went ahead and taped this because this is this moves pretty freely, so I go. I went ahead and used electrical tape to take down this uh, whatever that is, <laughs> so I can neatly tuck it away and pop it back in. There you go. All right, snap back in place. 
peel off your tape and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like inside. Compare when looking at, at, at it, you can barely see the car unless I angle it. This side, holy crap, I can see everything. You can even see the tripod and my fridge. I don't think you were able to see my fridge before. I can see the fridge. For sure, you're gonna be able to see the Forester on the other side. I can't wait to get the other side done and show you what it looks like. I won't show you guys what that looks like. We did the harder side, uh, which has the extra plug that you have to tuck away. But man, these mirrors make a huge difference. Again, in the Supra, the blind spot, it's great having blind spot monitoring, but being able to see everything, because you don't want to always rely on that. Although sometimes I really do, but it's really nice to be able to see everything that's in your way, especially when merging lanes. And you don't really get much of a blind spot in this car. Let's go ahead and do the side and do a comparison afterwards. And this is the wide angle side mirror. And that's not even all the way out. You can already see the Forester from where I was holding the camera before. <laughs> Holy shit, that's pretty crazy. Let me go ahead and move. Look, you can even see inside my garage now. You can see the whole Forester if you wanted to. But I got a box block in the way. You know what? I'm really liking these mirrors. Ooh. Later we'll test drive it, make sure that the blind spot monitoring works, which I've already seen a couple people that have not installed and they do work. I just want to make sure that mine work. It works. Hey guys, it's been a week since I installed the wide angle side view mirrors and after I, I drove it to work as much as I can just so that I can give you guys feedback on this. And uh, my feedback is nothing but good. Um, it is freaking awesome to be able to see two lanes across pretty much as well as still have your blind spot monitoring. I'm 100% sure that every single time I switch lanes or do something, I know that I'm safe to do so. Um, one, some cons, there are some. Uh, but it's very minimal when you first switch over to the wide angle mirrors. It does kind of hurt your eyes, probably mainly due to, you know, your eyes adjusting to what you're normally used to see. Now driving it, I have no problems with that. Uh, the blue tint is great. So you never have lights glaring at you uh, when you're looking at your side view mirrors. And um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but you see the, the blind spot monitoring system is actually kind of orange already. So whenever you're driving and the sun hits it, uh, at first I was confused because I thought, you know, somebody was in my blind spot. But after driving it for so long, you'll actually be able to tell when it lights up because the oranges are completely different. Now I, I now I can tell pretty much whenever it's powered on and off. It would be super cool if uh, if Sumo Performance was able to actually change the color what, of how it looks when it's not lit on and then use like some type of orange LED to be able to tell you if it's on or off. Uh, other than that, I don't have any complaints. Uh, for the price point that it's offered at, I think that everybody should do it, especially if you track your car, I think especially. I mean, I was driving uh, and I'd always be able to see the lane next to me and most of the times I can see the lane over next to me. Uh, whereas before with the stock mirrors, I was probably only able to see half a lane at most. That's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys found this information helpful. Um, I want to try to make install videos and information videos like this uh, for other A90 or A91 Super owners. Uh, that's what I'm really trying to do on this channel as well as have fun and show you guys some of the cool shit that I do on my car uh, But thank you so much for anybody that watched this far if you guys like the con uh, If you guys like the content, please like comment and subscribe. It does really help on my channel It also motivates me to continue to do more and push this car to the limits uh, But thank you again. I'll catch you guys in the next video Let me know what you want to see next comment down below Peace. Uh -oh.